Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I have a Nordstrom anniversary sale try on haul to share with you guys, and I'm excited to style some fall looks in today's video. I hope you enjoy today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you do, and I'm running a really fun giveaway, not only here on my YouTube channel, so the details for that to enter will be down in the description box below, where one of you guys can win a $100 Nordstrom e-gift card, but I also have one running over on my blog as well. So I will link both of those down below for you guys to enter. I hope you are having fun shopping the sale and I just wanted to help one of you guys out as well with your shopping. Also, I do apologize in advance if any of these items that you are really wanting are sold out, but this sale is kind of ridiculous and things go so quickly. So I will be doing restocks on my Instagram. I will link that down below for you guys to follow me and just check in on my stories to see if there's something that's been restocked that you're wanting to pick up from this video. This is going to be part one. I do have a part two coming up as well because I did place an online order. Those are always really delayed. So I'll get that up as soon as I can. And I'm sure I'll be restyling some items in this video as well. All right, let's jump into the try on haul. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know your favorite look down in the comments below. All right, so here is the first look. I love every single piece. This cardigan was in the sale last year and I did not fall in love with it. It was just a little too big on me. And I actually didn't think this one would fit, but I love how this fits. And this is an extra, extra small. So I would recommend sizing down potentially two sizes, but at least one. But I really like how it fits. It's There's not too much material. I did try on the small. I think it was the small and I don't love this inside print there and with the bigger size it was kind of having to fold over and I just didn't love that but sizing down it looks so clean and nice and then this is the BP lace cami and this is really comfortable I style the Abercrombie camis a lot on my channel and this one's very comparable I, will, I think this one's a teeny bit more flattering but if it's sold out you can still find these everywhere so I will link a couple options this one runs true to size. I'm wearing a small. It's like a silk. It's like a cheap silk. It doesn't feel like the best quality silk, but it is nice and comfortable. It's not sheer, but it is a little thin. And then these jeans are only $44. I was going in with the intentions of buying a designer pair, and I just couldn't settle on a style that I really wanted to splurge on. So I saw these. I wear skinny dark jeans. I live in it in the fall, so I knew I couldn't go wrong. And these are really comfortable flattering through the leg. I do need a size down. This is a 28, and I'm going to exchange for a 27 just because there is a lot of room here. They're very stretchy and comfortable. Um, so I do need to swap these out. Hopefully, they're still available. And then these boots, I'm sure you've seen these everywhere. This is like what everyone is buying, I feel like. But I definitely needed a new go-to booty this fall and so I went with this one because I really like the cutout. This was in my preview video. So I really love the point there. It kind of elongates your legs. It almost has a western vibe and I went with my normal size. I was totally planning on sizing up just because it is pointy but they do accommodate for that with the size. So if you're in between sizes, definitely size up. Or if you want to wear a sock, then you definitely want to size up as well. I will just end up wearing these without a sock. And they're a great height. And I think they come in five colors, potentially. All right, and then I did not plan on getting this bag. But I saw the color, and I just loved the detail on the strap. So I think this knot is really cool. And then I also love the matte chain details and the matte here. It's just really pretty color combo. I was torn on getting the little pink crossbody or this one and I ended up going with this one. I already have a ton of little pink crossbodies so I'm not just going to buy it just to sh show you guys. You know, it's an option. Um, I will link it if you want to see what I'm talking about. Um, but this one also comes in a tan color which I think would be really pretty. Do keep in mind this ivory bag will definitely transfer if you're wearing it just straight on with jeans. Any bag will do that, but especially the ivory. So if you're worried about that, you may want to go with a darker color. It will still do it on the camels and the tans and the pinks, basically any color except black. Um, but if you have a cardigan on, it will totally be safe. So if you're wondering what lip color I'm wearing, I'm wearing Max Whirl with this Charlotte Tilbury color in Pillow Talk. Ooh, that was pretty talented. But look at that one-handed. Um, so this color is actually in the sale. You can get this with the lip liner and the lip gloss for 60 bucks. 
This is the only lipstick that I wear because I actually just don't like lipstick. The formulas are so drying, but this one's actually moisturizing and doesn't make my lips gross and crusty. So um, I dab it on most of the time just for a really natural finish. Um, but I think that's a good buy in the sale if you've been wanting to try this. I was torn on getting it, but it ended up passing just because I already have the lipstick. So I'd be better off just buying the lip liner separately, but this one works perfectly with it. All right, so, so an update on the jean. They are stretching out a little bit, so I would definitely size down. Um, I just feel like I'm pulling them up now that I've had them on for a little bit. Um, but this is the Barefoot Dreams cardigan. These are always a hot seller, so I really hope they're still available. But they are the softest cardigan that you can buy in the sale. But if they are sold out and a little bit out of your budget, I, there is one that is so soft and very similar. It's a little fuzzier, but it is just as soft. So I will link that one down below. I feel like that one's a little underrated and I think it's way more affordable. I'm not 100% sure, um, but I think it is cheaper than this one. Um, this is the size small. I did buy two sizes. I was torn because the small fits me better through here, but it's a little tighter in the arms. It's not tight or anything, but if I want to wear long sleeves underneath it or even shirts, it will kind of be a little snug there. So I also got the medium. I'll try that one on and you guys let me know what size I should keep because I'm a little torn, but I have wanted them to do this color for years, like at least three or four years. I wanted them to do a light gray and they never do. It's always ex like in their other options, but it's never included in the sales. So when I saw this one, I definitely scooped it up. I love this light gray color. I kept on the same basics underneath. And then these shoes were not planned, but when I tried them on, they're so comfortable that I had to get them. So I will do a close up of them and chit chat a little bit about them, but I love them. I'm so glad I bought them and then I'm keeping on the same bag. This is the only bag I bought in the sale. And then here are the earrings that I'll probably keep on for all the outfits. These are adorable. I just love the pave heart. It's just like a different take on a hoop. And I think they're so cute and they kind of sit out a little bit so you can really see the heart detail from the front. And I just think they're really pretty. So I'll show you guys a close up of these as well. All right, so here is that shoe and I intended on getting a sneaker. I was thinking those white Adidas for work just to be comfortable. But when I tried them on, they just looked a little bulky on my ankle. And when I tried these on, it was like, no question. These were so much more comfortable and they just look nice. So if you can wear sneakers to work or dress a little more casually and you wear Nikes a lot, but you want to kind of dress up, these are adorable and so comfortable. And then there is the little animal print detail. I think it's really cute with the blush and these are just stretchy run true to size. All right, so here is the medium. It might be a teeny bit big, but it's honestly a little more comfortable just because it's not as tight in the arms. Um, but does it look too big? You guys let me know. All right, guys, so here is another really cute neutral fall outfit. So I threw my hair up with the scrunchie that was just chilling over here because when I'm wearing big bulky scarves like this, I don't like having my hair like wrapped all around it. I feel just kind of like Haggerty. I don't know. So I got my hair up. Um, this scarf is one of my favorite buys. I think I'm going to get so much wear out of it this fall. I don't know what it is, but I buy a Soul Society scarf every single year. And I don't even look at the brand. It's just the one I'm always drawn to. There's a couple different leopard scarf options, but this one's by far my favorite. It's really soft and cozy. And I like where it hangs. Just it's like a good basic. All right, so this is the BP cardigan from two years ago. I didn't buy the cardigan this year because there's no point for me to buy it just to show you guys in this video and then return it. So this one's perfectly fine. The one in the sale is almost identical, the same type of shape. I always size down in these because I don't love when they wrap around too much in the front, but they have multiple colors of this. This is the oatmeal -y neutral shade. It's really good. I, I use this at work a lot. It's not the warmest, but that's also a good thing, especially if you live in the South. If you live in a really cold environment, you need the Barefoot Dreams cardigan because it's probably the warmest of these. And then this leopard one's pretty warm and maybe this one, but this one's kind of a midline. It's good for the South, <laughs> I guess. Um, and then I threw on these booties again. These just go with everything and they are just, they're like a sexy boot with the point. Um, I don't normally dress, you know, sexy. It's not really something I describe my style in, but you know, 
I'll take it. <laughs> okay. So the best part about this scarf, for 25 bucks, you get two looks in one because yes, you can wear it like a scarf, but you can also drape it over your shoulders and then it looks like a cute little poncho as well. Okay. So this is a suede leather skirt. I unfortunately bought the wrong size. It's way too big. I thought because like it looked really tight on the model and I didn't want it to be like skin tight. So I sized up and got a 28, but I definitely need a 27. It comes in two colors. So this is a really nice suede leather. You probably would want to avoid wearing this if it was raining. It just doesn't seem like a material that I would want to get wet but it does come in two colors and it's really flattering. So I threw on the leopard cardigan just to give it a little print. It just seemed too boring and too brown with all my other color options. Um, so I do love this, it's really soft. And then here's what the booties look like without jeans. So sometimes booties can cut your leg off, make you look really short and just make your ankle look bigger, but these are almost like nude. They're just very slim and I think they look really flattering. So these would work great with dresses as well. All right, so before we jump in, the only part of this outfit that's in the Nordstrom sale are these booties. So just an FYI, this is not Nordstrom, but it's all I had to work with. And they do have a leopard midi skirt. I think they have two different options in the sale, but I honestly don't think it's worth the price, at least in my budget, just because it's not a everyday basic or something that I'll wear like, multiple times you know in a month it'd be like something i wore maybe twice that season i don't know so up to you if you want to get the one in the sale i will also link a couple different options because i don't think this target one is available anymore but i've seen these everywhere i think these are going to be very trendy um, but these booties are part of the sale and i love them i do need to size up these are an eight and i need the eight and a half they just seem to run a little narrow in the toe, these are definitely extra pointy, but I think they're so fun. I picture them um, with a cropped flared jean and like a high-waisted pant with like a tight-fitting shirt, but I just didn't have that right now. I'm gonna be looking for it and style it for you guys. Um, but these booties do come in six different colors. They have like blacks and snake print and red and gray. I, of course, love this nude blush color. Um, and so this outfit's also really making me want to order the pearl Gucci belt because that would work perfectly, especially with these boots. They're almost the same color. Um, but this is the one from H&M that I styled in my try-on haul. It's probably not available at this point. And then this is an old sweater. But just giving you guys some options. I will link, of course, a Nordstrom outfit in the sale that's similar, but also I'll try to find some other midi skirts for you guys. Um, but if you're looking for a really chic booty, these are definitely my pick. I think they're so cute. I mean, this is probably my favorite outfit and most of it's not even Nordstrom. <laughs> all right, so we have some good basics here. I'm happy with all of this, except I need to size down in the jeans and maybe the cardigan. So I'm wearing a small here and it is roomy. It does hang really well though. So that's one thing I like about it. Ooh, can we keep this lighting? That would be great. <laughs> um, so I hate cardigans that you have to like constantly fight with and like fold them over for them to look right. This one, you don't have to worry about that. It just hangs really well. It just kind of does its thing and stays out of the way. So definitely a good one, for, especially for under 50. It comes in a couple different colors. I, of course, surprise, surprise, went with the pink. But this is the only pink thing I think that I have to share with you guys right now. I know y'all have pink too, probably, if you're following me. Um, anyway, so... You may want to size down on this, but I feel like the small is also okay. I just typically size down on cardigans. And I do really like the slit on the side. I feel like that keeps it really flattering and kind of breaks up all the material since this is a little bit longer, but I do like the length. It's a little bit different. It'd be great for leggings. Like you could totally make, this would be awesome for traveling too, because it's kind of like a blanket. Okay. Love this one. Just talked myself into it. Um, and then this is the BP basic t-shirt and I wanted to get the Calson one cause just, I wanted to get one that was a good quality. Um, but this one's surprisingly good for 1150. Um, I say that because I tried on the white one the other day and I was so disappointed in the quality. It was just see-through and it just was not soft. So I kind of like was not into these. But I picked this one up since I really wanted something striped and I actually 
somehow it's a completely different story. It feels soft. It's not see-through. So these are good. Just stick away from the white probably. I tucked it into these jeans, which if you haven't seen my fashion hacks video now, I'll link it here. I shared exactly how to do front tucks and all the fun things that you would definitely need to do for fall. Um, the jeans are still stretching out on me, so definitely size down. And then I bought these shoes for work and they're so comfortable and very flattering on the feet. I just love the cut of them. I played it safe and got the gray. I just love this color and I love the slight perforation there. And they do run true to size. I went with my normal size eight. I was kind of expecting to size up with the point, but again, normal size is all you need. And I think these are good buy. They are under, I think 70, I think they're 66 ish. I'd have to double check. Um, but they come in a ton of colors and they do have a fun snake print if you're looking for something a little different if you already have a good neutral shoe if not i feel like the gray is really versatile oh my gosh this outfit is making me so excited for cooler weather and for fall time i'm definitely not rushing it like i'm still happy to wear like my dresses and enjoy summer but falls in the south are the absolute best and this is like this is a standard outfit that you will see me in a ton. So this hat is from last year. I didn't go out and buy the one this year just to show you a slightly different color and band. So it's the same exact hat. I got a small in it and it runs a little bit big, I would say, but I, I would be fearful to tell you to size down. Um, I have hair extensions and you normally have to size up in hats, but this one still fits me just perfectly. They also have this in black and a really cute one with snake print, but I think that one's currently sold out as I'm filming this, so who knows if they'll bring it back. Um, but fall hats are so fun because they just add an extra element to your outfit, and I feel like when you add that fifth piece to any outfit, you instantly look more stylish. So, you don't have a wool hat. These are cute. I'm sure there'll also be some cute, more affordable ones as well, but these are really good quality. I actually have two colors in this. They're always hanging up over in the corner over there, so you may have seen them a time or two. So this is technically a, a cardigan, but it actually is like a mix between that and a poncho with the cutouts. I think it's a really unique and comfortable piece. It comes in gray as well. I think this is gonna be super popular in the sale this year. I love it. I actually didn't love it on the hanger, but having it here, it's, it's one of my must haves, I think, just cause it's a little unique and I love this color of it. This Stripe Basic is also another must have if you don't have one. This one's really comfortable. I would definitely, definitely, definitely size up. This is a medium and I feel like it fits like a small. And with stripes, you don't want it to be too tight because it will start like warping. Oops, my phone's back on. It died on me. Um, but as I was saying, like if it's too tight, the stripes will start looking like a little wonky so you definitely be safe sizing up in this and you would even probably be safe sizing up two sizes if you want a little extra room but I love the length of it this one's extra long so if you are tall that's great for you but I love it because I can cover things in the front and wear with leggings and it's also has an extra length in the arms but I love that too because you can kind of really bunch it up and add good layering so I will be styling this so much in the fall so get ready to see it if you were following me last year you know i styled a striped shirt under almost everything because i love that layered look that's like my favorite thing in the fall so then i pulled these up so you guys can see these are the spanx leather leggings i've had these now for a year i got these last year in the sale and they seem like a splurge but they are just like a basic that you'll have in your wardrobe for years like i don't see these going anywhere anytime soon I did a video styling these 10 different ways. Like I did 10 outfits. I'll probably do one again this year. If you guys wanna see that, let me know down in the comments, but I'll link that here so you can see how these will work in your wardrobe. Sizing wise, I would recommend sizing up. I feel like they run small. So this is a medium. It's kind of hard to see. All right, so now you guys can see the leather effect better. I like how these aren't super shiny because I feel like when they're too shiny, they look cheap. So these are just my favorite. I kind of compared them to a few other popular buys in that video and these ended up just being worth the price for me. So these are like shapewear. They will suck you in and lift everything up and make you look awesome. So these are definitely a must have for me. And then as for the over the knee boots, I have a video styling a couple different outfits with over the knee boots as well. So I'll link that here. 
Um, these I've had. I didn't see the need to go out and buy almost the same shoe just to again show you guys. If you're looking for an over the knee boot, I'll link the one they have in this year's sale. They're the same color, same toe. They'll give you the, the same look. Um, so I think those are a good buy. If you don't have over the knee boots, they're a must have for me in the fall time. And I'll be styling them a ton to give you guys a lot of it, different outfit inspiration with them. All right, you guys, that is everything that I have to share from today's Nordstrom anniversary sale try on haul. I hope you found something you love. If you did, definitely let me know down in the comments below and you can shop everything in the description box. If you haven't already subscribed, definitely hit the subscribe button. I will have a part two as well as other fun videos for the sale. And I'll also be doing my normal everyday non Nordstrom related videos as well. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this try on haul and thank you guys so much for watching. Good luck to all of you entering the giveaway and I will see you guys in my next video.